There has been a huge controversy over the labeling of the new character as a Mary Sue. Now, this label comes with a lot of baggage, which is not helped by the fact that everybody in the conversation seems to be using six separate definitions of Mary Sue. But in the broadest sense of a perfect character who's good at everything and has no discernible flaws, then yes, there is a clear Mary Sue in the movie, and that Mary Sue is Poe Dameron, perfect human, best pilot in the galaxy, can fly anything, snarks in the face of danger, nice to absolutely everybody, even lets Finn keep his jacket. And I for one was not even remotely bothered by that partly because it was a relatively small supporting role, but also because Poe Dameron is the classic dashing and pure sci-fi serial hero. I love morally ambiguous, emotionally complex anti-heroes as much as the next fan of narrative, but there was something oddly refreshing about seeing an unambiguous good guy on the screen. And Oscar Isaac was so freaking charming and had amazing chemistry with literally everybody he stood next to, even when he stood next to a ball. Star Wars, nothing but Star Wars. He was fun to watch, and it was a small enough character that he didn't need much more dimension than he got for this film, and I think there's room to develop him into something more nuanced for the next one. Okay, okay, I'll address the actual controversy. Is Rey a Mary Sue? Well, she was good at a lot of things, and she may be disproportionately strong in the Force, but it's not like she had zero struggles. I mean, she accidentally let the Raptars loose on Han's freighter, that was a pretty big fuck-up. Yeah, she stands her own against a severely injured and internally tormented pseudo-Sith, but she still is barely getting away with her life before she lets the Force control her actions. And unlike most Mary Sues, she actually gets a character arc. The whole leaving the past behind thing that I mentioned in the past. So you already left it behind. Were her struggles and flaws largely superficial? Maybe. I'll acknowledge that she gets over most of them quickly, and it is fair to say that she has more skills than flaws, but generally I believed everything Rey did, and the bulk of her skills were foreshadowed, sometimes subtly. And yeah, it would have been nice to establish that she had ever heard of the Jedi mind trick before she uses it, but... It also would have been nice to establish that Luke had ever heard of lifting things with the Force before he did that successfully. I will admit that there are legitimate issues someone could have with the way Rey was written and the struggle she was given, but I don't think Mary Sue is an applicable term for those issues, at least not a useful one.